everyone. So today I'm going to show you some groundwork exercises you can do with a pushy horse. Before we get started, why don't you leave a comment of what your horse's favorite treat is. Tucker here loves apples. So real quick, let's cover what a pushy horse is. So if you have a horse that you feel like is constantly running into you or maybe crowding you, trying to pull ahead of you and things like that, then you probably have a pushy horse. So a pushy horse is a horse that doesn't respect your personal space, but they're also trying to vie for the alpha position in the relationship. So if you watch horses in the wild, the alpha horse kind of pushes the other horses around with their body. So if your horse is doing this with you, that means they're trying to gain the alpha position in your relationship. So one of the easiest places to start when it comes to working with a pushy horse is simply just work on leading them. So this is an area where you will definitely see their dominance coming out, is as you lead the horse, they're gonna try and be pulling past you, jerking you around, and things like that. So we're gonna start there, and I'm gonna show you some exercises you can do when leading your horse to help correct that pushy behavior. So when it comes to leading a pushy horse, there's a few things you wanna have in mind. The first thing is your position. So where are you to be positioned next to your horse? So the perfect position is basically to be parallel with your horse's head. This way I can easily control him with my body and he can see what I'm doing and respond correctly. The second thing I wanna mention is when it comes to working with a pushy horse, we want them to learn to respect the pressure that we apply, but also reward them with the slack in the rope. So if you have a pushy horse, you may be prone to lead them like this and gripping the bottom of the halter so you can easily control them and pull back if you need to. He has a fly on him. Poor buddy. But ideally, I want to be able to lead my horse with a nice loose rope and not have them pulling or pushing on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my rope like this. And if the horse starts to get ahead of me or fight me, I'm just going to ask them to correct themselves. I'm going to have them back up out of my space. And we're going to start from there. So Tucker is by no means a pushy guy, but I may just ask him to walk up and ahead of me just so I can demonstrate to you guys how to correct this behavior. All right, so let's say right here he starts getting ahead of me. What I'm immediately gonna do is stop him. Hey, and back him up. Good boy. And have him get out of my space and just have him stand there then. And then I'll start leading him again. And so if he does it again, I'll eh, eh, back up. Good boy. You're so smart. So if he starts to use this looseness I'm giving him to fight against me or to pull me, I'm immediately gonna correct him so he learns to go off of the loose rope and keep it loose rather than fighting it. Go ahead. Go, uh, uh, uh. So when it comes to correcting this behavior, you need to be consistent and you need to be immediate when the horse starts pulling on you. And this way the horse is gonna learn really quickly that they need to respect where you are respect that you're leading them and that they shouldn't be pulling on you. So another thing you've probably noticed if you have a pushy horse is not only do they like to pull ahead of you, but they also like to be stubborn sometimes and they don't like to go forward when you want them to. So I'm gonna show you real quick an exercise you can do to help teach your horse to go forward. So as you lead your pushy horse and let's say they don't wanna go forward, that's them disrespecting the pressure you're applying. So what you can do, I always like to have my lunge whip with me and I'll just apply pressure to the lead rope, a forward pressure, and then I can just use my lead rope by waving it kind of at the horse's hind end. And as soon as the horse steps up, I'll release the pressure. And so this way the horse is learning to go with the pressure and yield to the pressure you're applying. So then I can just apply a slight pressure and the horse will step forward rather than fighting it and pulling back and being like, yo, get off my face. So that's another thing you can try with your pushy horse. Real quick, if you guys enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. So another tendency of a pushy horse is to constantly be running into you as you lead them. So you may find that they bump you with their shoulder or maybe they hit you with their nose a few times. And you'll usually find that these horses somehow end up standing behind you and walking behind you rather than walking beside you where they should be. So real quick, I'm just gonna show you how you can correct this behavior, but also teach them to be respectful of you even when they're farther away on the lead. So the immediate fix for a horse that wants to walk behind you is you can take your lunge rope in your other hand and just wave it next to you. And that will signal to the horse to gradually move away and to the side. And another thing you can do, let's say your horse is behind you, I'll step in front of him here is you can turn around and kind of push him as if you're gonna push him, but you're pushing the air and get him to step away 
if he's being really bad and really getting in your space. But for now, I'm just gonna use my crop and this is usually sufficient enough to get them to move over. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm kind of putting Tucker close to me or behind me so I can just wave this and he will naturally move over and out and away from me. So I recommend as you work with your pushy horse to always just have your crop in hand and you can just signal to them to move away from you by waving and having them go this way. Good boy. So once I have my horse walking successfully next to me, a great exercise you can do is start trying to push them out further and so they'll be on the end of your lead and just have them walk like this. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna help your horse become more responsive to where you are, to where they are. And so they're gonna respect your space a lot more because they're gonna learn that you can control them even if they're farther away from you. But it's also just a great way to teach the horse that they don't have to be right up in your space all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my body language to kind of push him out away from me. I can make a pushy motion with my hand or I can bring my crap over here and kind of wave it. And then what I'll do is I'll just let him walk next to me. If he starts to get ahead of me or he wants to trot, I'll immediately shake my lead and ask him to stop or just slow down. So I'll show you guys how to do this. Good boy, stay up there. Good boy. Uh -uh. Yeah, all right, come on. Good boy. And so let's say he gets ahead of me here. I'll just ask him to get ahead. I'll meet. Hey, hey, hey. Get, get, get. I'm just going to put him back to where he needs to be. And then we'll go for it. Good boy. So our next point is teaching your horse to back up out of your space. So one of the easiest ways to correct a pushy horse is to immediately have them back up and away from you. So one thing you can do, you probably notice if you're standing by your horse's face a lot and they're pushy, they're going to constantly be trying to push you with their head or rub on you or something like that. So one easy and quick thing you can teach them is just to back up via pressure on their nose. So all you're going to do is I'm just going to right here apply a little pressure and you know he automatically starts backing up but i'll just gradually start increasing this pressure until the horse takes even the smallest step backwards then i'll release the pressure so they understand that that is the right response so in line with that last point you can also work on getting your horse super responsive to your cues to have them to back up so you can start working to back your horse up here just by pressing on their nose come on and then you can just gradually add in other cues to teach your horse to back up. So you can work on being able to just apply pressure to the horse's chest and have them back up. Also being able to apply pressure to the rope. So we've gone over this in a lot of videos, but one easy way to get your horse to back up is simply just shaking your rope and see he immediately starts backwards. And so this is just a great way to move your horse out of your space no matter what you're doing. And to teach your horse this, basically you can start off by shaking softer and he'll respond because he knows this but you'll shake softly and if your horse doesn't respond you'll just gradually increase the pressure so maybe you have to be like this which sometimes you have to be like that but as soon as the horse takes a step back you can release the pressure so the horse understands that that's the right behavior in the back good boy so once you have your horse responsive to backing up with your lead rope and also maybe by touching them on the nose or something then you can start working on getting them to back up just off of your body language so you can mess around with this see how you can get them to back up i do a few different things i can tap the ground in front of him and he'll back up so another thing you can do just off of your body language is i try to get the horse here to where i can get him i can just push him back with my body language so if you want to get your horse to respond so all you have to do is really just push him back just start here, make a lot of movement towards the horse. As soon as they step away, you stop so they learn that that's the right thing to do. So another great groundwork exercise you can do with a pushy horse 
is having them just walk on the lunge line or the lead rope as you lunge them around you in a circle. So a pushy horse likes to control the speed that you're going. So if you can get them to walk on the lunge line, this is gonna teach them really quickly that you're in charge and that you're gonna control how fast or slow they're going. This exercise is also just great for any horse that maybe gets a little carried away on the lunge line and gallops around and bucks and doesn't seem to calm down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them out on my circle. Go on, bud. So he's walking nice here. Let's say he just randomly picks up a trot. I'm gonna immediately... Uh, uh. Good. And see, he stops, he looks at me. I'll have him go out again. And he can walk. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. So as you can see, this is pretty effective at teaching the horse to simply just walk on the lead line and that they don't have to get all freaked out or nervous or be pulling on the rope and trying to challenge you in that aspect. So this next point is a great exercise for pushy horses. And what we're going to do is we're going to teach the horse to yield to pressure ahead of them. And so this is any pressure coming this way, either towards their face or ahead of them like this. This is important because a lot of pushy horses will actually fight pressure ahead of them. And the way this works is in the wild, if a horse sees something coming in this direction, it's as if that object is trying to cut them off and get them. So the horse will try to shoot past it and run forward so that they don't get caught. We're gonna teach the horse to yield to this by instead of running through the pressure, we want them to turn the other way. So just so you'll get the concept, I'm gonna lunge him real quick and then have him yield to pressure ahead so you guys can get the concept. So what I'm gonna do is as he's lunging, I'm gonna put my lunge whip in front of him and I want him to turn away from it. Go on, trot. Right ahead, up, up. Good boy. So the best place to start when you're teaching this is just to kind of be standing in front of your horse and to the side. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my lunge whip and I'll start out here so it's clearly in front of him and I'll just wave it and y'all can see he knows to move away so he'll move away. So if your horse isn't as responsive as Tucker was, what you can do is you're just going to start gradually bringing the lunge whip closer to the horse until maybe you have to be, you know, like waving it right in front of their face to get them to turn around and you have to be using a lot of assertiveness. I won't do that with him because he'll be like, why am I in trouble? But yeah, you might really have to like get after them right in front of them so they learn that they need to turn away. Good boy. <laughs> so once you have it so where your horse can yield at a standstill, then you can introduce it to them at the walk. So I'll just have them walk. Come on. Walking. And like I said, you're just gonna bring the lunge line or the lunge rip around. I'm gonna start waving it out here. He'll stop and turn. So you'll find that when you start doing this at a walk or a trot, this is when a pushy horse will become really kind of aggressive and want to run through the pressure of the lunge whip. So as soon as they see this out in front of them, a lot of them are gonna just try to push right through it. So there's a few things you can do. You can just stand here and wave it up and down. And if the horse runs into it, that's their own fault. But they're gonna learn as soon as this hits them and they run into it, they're gonna learn that they need to go the other way. So it's not that you're smacking the horse, you're basically just using it as a block so they can't go forward. Another thing you can do if they're being really bad and pushy, just go back to where they're standing and you have them yield to it so they can really get the concept and grasp that that's what they're supposed to do. So our next point is teaching your horse to turn away from you. So if you have a pushy horse and you're trying to get them to turn away and you go like this, that horse is probably just gonna run right into you, maybe knock you down. So what I want to be able to do is to turn my horse this way without even touching them. So if you haven't seen our other videos, we cover moving the horse's shoulders over in depth. You're gonna need this for this particular exercise. We have a great video that covers this step thoroughly. You can check it out. It's Groundwork for Respect. So we'll put the link in the description. So for this exercise, I wanna be able to turn my horse away from me simply by just using my body language. So ideally I can kind of be slightly in front of the horse and push in front of them and you see how he turns his neck and he steps away. So that's the goal. So in the beginning you can just start trying this at a walk. Can you stand right here? Push, step towards the horse, but have the horse move away from you. So this is also teaching a pushy horse to get out of your space. So once I can do this, I can start incorporating it to as I lead my horse. I'll get him to turn. Good. 
I'll lead over here. Turn. Good boy. So let's say you are walking, you're getting your horse to turn, but your horse just wants to run ahead of you or push you or just kind of take off and go forward. You know, just go right back here to where you shake that rope and have them back up. And you can just keep doing that until you can get them to respond correctly. So if you're looking for more exercises you can do with a pushy horse, check out that video we mentioned earlier about groundwork for respect. All of those exercises we cover in that video is also great to do with a pushy horse or any kind of horse. So once again, the link is in the description for y'all to check out. We wanna thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was helpful. And please remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.